friends, Romans, countrymen. <laughs> it's been too long since I've seen you. Today, we're going to pull a jobs TAM list. So I want to talk about what the hell that means and why you should care about it. I have all this great jobs database, right? And the interesting thing about someone's jobs is that they tell you some nuance about what the company cares about. And you can understand not only timing with this data, but also messaging with it because you know how they're thinking about the problem. So we're going to do this for my new friend, Trey. Now, Trey runs a, Trey runs a YC back company, Tenor. So Let's dive in. Let's like learn a little bit about the company. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take his unique insight. I'm going to talk about it. And then we're actually going to pull the data, export that, and give that away to Trey for free. And you can see how this process works. I think it's a radically different way to think about pulling market data instead of employees between 50 and 100 in SaaS, blah, blah. So let's dive in. Stop losing winnable deals. That's a pretty good tagline here. Um, guarantee every rep prepares like the best is an AI research to let your buyers and, and reads your marketing docs to create the perfect meeting prep in just one click. So what Trey said to me is that his product is really great for taking a complex sale, right, that you have to have a lot of really intricate knowledge of and making that really easy. So... Uh, that's kind of what we figured out. So like, let's like read a little bit more. Uh, perfect meeting prep before every sales call. Um, better than the user buyer. Uh, build for your sales team, right? Docs, case studies. So, uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take um, Trey's unique insight and see if we can turn it into a job search. So, bah. Uh, so what, what I've done here is I've said, all right, give me everyone in my database that's an account executive or an AE, right? Who's going to have to really interact with the customer where deals are lost or won based on the quality of prep that the AE has? And it turns out that what Trey found is that his best customers have really complex deal cycles. So we found keywords like complex, multi-stakeholders, fast-paced, technical. Uh, so that's the that's the data list we have, but we can do better. So there's almost 20,000 jobs, but we can do better. So this is in my database here. This job, this enterprise account executive has 13 different keywords, complex, technical, multi-stakeholder, multiple stakeholders. They mention a lot of really complex um uh, things here. So now this is the perfect place for us to mine for additional keywords. So let's see what else we can find in this job description. Uh, masterclass, closing, renewal business, uh, 5,000 employees. Oh, extens extensive sales strategy, right? That's a good one. Let's add that extensive sales strategy. Add keyword. Uh, and let's actually, let's click filter and see, if, see how... Wow, look at that. Thousands of jobs, extensive sales strategy. And now we have another job that actually meets that criteria um, uh, more here. Uh, hey, let's like scroll to, I got a lot of, well, let's see if I did this. Ooh, that's because I forgot to add group. That's a problem. Uh, all right. So uh, let's actually open another doc here. Uh, text editor. All right. I'm just going to take notes on another screen here so that we can go back and edit that query. Uh, craft tailored solutions. That's a good keyword, right? That means it's like going to require a lot of work here. Um, at all, oh, all, oh, a prescribed territory. Oh, that's not as interesting, actually. A trusted advisor. Oh, that's like great, trusted advisor. Um, complex business problems, strategic thinking. Nah, maybe I don't care much about that. Uh, general trends, personal, professional, but um, Customer satisfaction, time and resolution. Wow, 10 plus years. That's interesting. Preferably selling. Oh, a technical product. Oh, we already had technical. That was good. Complex sales cycle. Let's add the full phrase complex sales cycles just to make sure we have it. Account management. Oh, ambiguous. That's a great word, right? Like this means that they're going to have to really understand uh, situations where there's not a lot of clarity. Ooh, wide variety, overachievement quotas. 
oh, C-level executives, right? That probably means that they need to have understanding about uh, really senior buyers. In-person meetings. Ooh, in-person meetings. I don't know actually if he works with in-person meetings, but let's throw that in. Um, you probably have to have better prep if you're meeting in person. Oh, navigating the C-suite. Wow, okay. Let's just use the word navigating. Let's just include that as a keyword here. Oh, dem a strong ability to demonstrate value proposition. That's a probably pretty good one. Now, we're not trying to like rely on any single keyword here, but we're looking for the sum of keywords that mean that they have a complex sales cycle, which was what Trey's insight was here. Uh, predictable territory. Um, in various departments. So various departments is really interesting because that means that you have to understand different buyer personas. And let's actually use the word buyer persona. That's a really good one. 10 plus years. Let's look at this 10. This We've seen this 10 plus year thing. Let's like throw that in the mix. Preferably translate. Oh, that's is, this is like the same company. Is it the same company? Yeah, Masterclass. Wow, wow. Masterclass is really... Let's look at Airwalks. Oh, consultative, that's a great word. Um, sales process, uh, articulation or value. Fully stocked kitchen, that's a good one. Uh, we are, oh, oh C-suite, let's include the C-suite here. That means that they probably, multi-year top performance, super interesting. Ooh, internal relationships, that's good. That means that they have to um, uh, owe pre-sales resources. Let's like throw that in. Ooh, executive stakeholders, that's good. Uh, let's see, Ex executive. Ooh, let's just use the word executive here. All right. So let's go ahead and modify this and see if we can, oh, oh, I'm full screen. <laughs> let's drag me down the corner here. All right, search, let's edit this. And let's do, let's just paste in a bunch of these keywords here. So we got tailored solutions. You can kind of see what I'm doing here is that I, I don't have to rely on any given keyword. I don't have to rely on a specific uh, phrase that they mention. Right? It's not like we're going to use this as keywords in our outreach. All we want to do is, is do they have the most painful version of this problem, which is are, are they expecting an AE to navigate, you know, do things in person, navigate the C-suite, um, like understand the value proposition, work with various departments. All of these things to me mean that this is a very hard AE job and that there's probably a huge amount of improvement that can be done oh, by our persona uh, in the learning process I love Dan I love dancing with the dead I think that that 10 plus years is a good one that's like a lot of time 10 plus years I don't have 10 plus years doing anything <laughs> internal is this I hope this is fun for you I like I'm doing this at 6.30 p.m. on a Thursday. This is my Thursday night. All right, executive. All right, we got a lot of keywords in here. Let's add this group. Great, so now we're saying account executive AE, and they have to have these keywords. And let's just go ahead and throw my email in here. Don't abuse this fine email here. Don't be sending me cold emails. And uh, let's, uh, do we care about recency? Let's, no, let's not. Let's just. Say anyone in my database. I like this little, you like my little blue raindrop? Uh, 32,000 jobs. All right, we do have to call it down. I can't export that many jobs. Let's look at just the last 60 days, posted the last 60 days, active or not. Uh, much more manageable. So account executive commercial, uh, Conga uh, crushes complexity. <laughs> Uh, we transform an order. Wow. Okay. This is a company that sells complexity. <laughs> uh, oh, mid like commercial. Okay. So larger sizes. That's something we definitely should look at. C-level technical and non-technical complex industry. 
um, market segment, KPIs, decision makers, travel. Oh, that's like QBRs. Wow. Okay, so you can kind of see, even though we didn't get things like QBRs or opportunity plans, maximize revenue, a selling path, right? You can see because we have found a lot of adjacent keywords, this is probably a pretty good fit um, for Trey here. 12 words, complex, C-level. Uh, and let's look at another run buggy. That's a funny uh, technology, car shippers and haulers. Seamlessly connect. Okay, let's see. Technical training solutions, C-suite, complex customers, complex information, complex sales cycle, non-technical users, both technical users. Wow. Okay, so this enterprise account executive has to have uh, a lot of capabilities here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to export this for Trey, and I'm going to say, look, we now have identified the jobs at companies that seem to be great fits. I think you should send generic messaging to them. <gasps> ah, generic messaging. Why would Jordan ever say that? Because if you know that they have a complex sales cycle and you know that they have AEs, you can be pretty certain here that they have the problem that you solve for. So you can try and send a message like this. Hey, Jordan, it seems like your AEs are expected to navigate different departments manage a complex sales cycle, that there's a lot of things that could go wrong. When you look at your best AE and your worst AE, have you noticed that there is a huge difference in closing between those two? And are you interested in ways to close that gap? I use close twice. ChatGPT3 should rewrite this. But do you see what I did here? I didn't talk about personalization. I didn't throw in a bunch of keywords that we found. But because I am targeting appropriately and because I have a high level of confidence that they have a lot of these account executive jobs where they're expected to traverse a lot of complexity, I can be pretty certain that they have a great AE that can manage all that complexity, and they have a large delta between that best AE and that worst AE. And this comes from Trey's insight. So now we have taken his insight, we've matched that with addi adding additional keywords from the job description to say who has the most amplified version of that problem, and who's gonna read this relatively generic message and be like, oh my gosh, yes. Jessica, our best AE, does so much better than Chad, our worst AE, because she can manage the complexities in our sales cycle. And you knew that about me because you did your research, not because you used my first name and used my company name in the header here. So we can get away from a world of throwing in a bunch of personalization variables to a world where relevancy is the name of the game and we have done our homework here we found enough keywords to really identify that you have the most complex ae uh, sales cycle and that there's likely a great delta between your best ae and the worst ae because of the complexities in that sale well thank you so much for watching it's been too long here since i have chatted with you in my in my void and I'm so grateful again that you decide to watch my content. I mean, we've been chatting for 13 minutes, that you've invested 13 minutes of your time with me. Um, that's like almost a Netflix episode. <laughs> Uh, and the production value is much nicer there. <laughs> Thanks again, everyone, for watching. And I will send you this data, Trey. I uh, hope you get a chance to watch this too. Enjoy your weekend, folks. Adios.